Now, uh, guys, I want to ask you a question. Uh, this is Matt. He's an atheist. Does he look hungry to you? Well, listen to this. Um, it says here um, that he, this is a actual quote from him. Okay. And he says, <laughs> he says, <laughs> he says, having spent the majority of my life compartmentalizing my religious beliefs to keep them safe from skepticism, it's thrilling to leave the critical, investigative, hungry portion of my brain turned on. So he's, he's, he's saying, that's like weird, uh, what he's saying, in my opinion. He said the hungry portion of his brain is turned on. And there he is there, he's an atheist, and he says that the hungry portion of his brain is turned on. Now, another thing, too, I want to show you is... He says, this is hilarious, he says, the thoughts, writings, and wisdoms of people like Richard Dawkins? <laughs> no! This is evidently the hungry portion of your brain, Matt, was turned off when you said Richard Dawkins. Because listen to this. Well, here's Richard Dawkins right here. Listen to him being stumped by a creationist question. Listen closely. Can you give an example of a genetic mutation or, 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 or an evolutionary process which ha can be seen to increase the information in the genome? Now, did you hear that? Did you hear what they said? They said, can you give an example of a genetic mutation or an evolutionary process? Can you give an example of a genetic mutation or evolutionary process? Now, watch this. Which can be seen to increase the information in the genome. And Richard Dawkins, knowing that uh, evolution is full of crapola, watch what he says. Can you give an example of a genetic mutation or, 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 or an evolutionary process which can be seen to increase the information in the genome? He's stumped. <laughs> this is madness. How embarrassing. He, this is embarrassing for atheists. He's stumped by creationists. Can you just stop with that? I think. You see that? Now, uh, here's what's amazing. When when Dawkins did that, I saw on his own blog he admitted that it was true. This is not a hoax video. Um, click below this video and you can see this video. Dawkins was stumped. But, Matt, you say you're hungry. Well, Richard Dawkins is not going to satisfy your appetite for truth. Now, let me t let's talk about um, the amazing hellbound atheist who I challenged to a debate, um, and he's not answering my challenge. I think he is an evolutionist. He's hungry, also. Let me show you something. There he is. Um, but see. There are people that are hungry for truth. That's what we want. And by the way, I, I have to uh, say something that the, the amazingly hellbound atheist said. When I challenged him, and, and by the way, click below this video and watch the video, Proof Atheism is Madness, where this hungry guy here, when he's asked to give some arguments why atheism is true, this hungry guy here, Matt Dillahunty, the hungry guy, we're going to call him the hungry guy for now because he says he's hungry. Well, Richard Dawkins is not going to fill your appetite, Matt. This hungry man here said that unicorns in a box prove atheism is true. That's what he said. You're going to see that on this video here, Proof Atheism is Madness. This is hilarious when you click below. This atheist here, um, where's he at? Um, as you know, I... Here we go. This atheist here, another hungry atheist, he disagrees with Matt. And he says that you cannot prove that atheism is true or accurate. You're going to see that when you click below here on that video. So you have the hungry man here disagreeing with the other hungry man here. Okay, they're both hungry. Now, there's a brilliant motorcycle rider, a very good friend of mine on YouTube. You're going to see an annotation here. You guys should click the annotations. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to put the link below here. See where it says more info below. Check out his video, Why Atheists Are Ignorant. And he's a fellow motorcycle vlogger. 
And this video, Why Atheists Are Ignorant, is excellent. Listen, atheism will not cure your hunger. Atheism will not cure your hunger for truth. Certainly, Richard Dawkins will not cure your hunger for truth. Um, but I do think you should go to the Horsefly 87's channel and watch this video, Why Atheists Are Ignorant, and um, wake up for the truth. There's no need to be hungry anymore. There's no need to be hungry. We know where the truth's at, and it is not found in Richard Dawkins or Matt Dillahunty or uh, Rich. Uh, yeah, there's Richard Dawkins again, or the amazingly hellbound atheist who is backing down from the de a debate that I challenged him in. But definitely, I give this video a thumbs up. Um, this one is excellent. You're going to see all these videos below. There's no need to be hungry.